Hey friends, what's up? Ash here, welcome back to Extra Gent Sense. Hope that you're doing well. So I got a package in a couple days ago from Max Aroma and had some fragrances in it, which they did not tell me that they were sending me. And those are what we're gonna check out today. The fragrances are once again from the house of Blend Oud. I checked out four fragrances from Blend Oud a little while back on this channel. Feel free to check that out if you want to. And there were some parts of those fragrances that I liked, some parts that I didn't like so much. And today we got some new ones, but I'm also gonna give one of them away to you. Full package and everything, man. This one, Teeb, it's called Teeb. I actually smelled Teeb before. So in the previous video, I smelled this one. Uh, feel free to check that out if you want to, like I said. And this one, uh, some people find a similarity to Creed's Viking with. So stay tuned for that. Later on in this video, I'll be giving this one away. We got three other ones to check out. So let's open these ones up. Let's see if they're any good. And also, if you do shop at maxaroma.com, use the code GENTS10. Save yourself 10% off anything on the website. And I have them linked below. So we got three new ones here. I've never smelled these. We have Cool, is that how you say that? Cool, K-H-O-U-L. It's like ghoul, but with the K, cool. And then we have bark, which I think is pretty self-explanatory. I'm pretty sure that it is not a bark uh, like a dog, but in fact, like a tree. And then we have this one. Look at that, that's cool looking. That is Oud Reserve Eclipse. So yeah, it's uh, that's pretty slick. First off, I'm gonna open up bark. Presentation looks nice. You have this slip cover, with the name of the house, name of the fragrance right there. It's an Eau de Parfum 75 mil size. And on the back, it says the opening is fresh and sparkling. Mandarin and mint develop into a heart full of rose and cinnamon. The bottom reveals woody and ambery facets. I could have done that smoother. And then on the front here, it says Blend Oud, the natural perfume. And then Blend Oud Parfums on the back, opens up like so. And here's the bottle. And it's the same style as uh, the tea bottle. I do like the the name Blend Oud, the natural perfume. Sounds like something you would see on a commercial. Let's go ahead and spray it on. Let's see how bark smells. All right. Nice atomizer. Yeah, it is very fresh and sparkling in the opening. So they got that right. Nice. As they said, it is very fresh and sparkling in the opening. The mint, very nice, sweet, a nice sweet mint. It's not too green, so it doesn't come across like uh, the type of mint note where you muddle, you know, mint in your hand and you smell it and it has that very leafy kind of green astringency to it. It doesn't have that. Instead, it's just very pleasant and, and sweet. I am interested to see how this smells on skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on here. It's quite woody. Yeah, quite woody, even from the get. I mean, uh, right from the top, you can smell this underlying woodiness. The mint is still there. It is sweet, not as sweet as coming off of the tester strip. There's a little bit of a difference there. It's a little bit more warm coming off the skin, a little more spicy, whereas off the strip here, it's quite focused on that opening of citrus and mint. You don't really get too much spiciness, maybe a little sweet cinnamon off the strip. No woodiness though. You get more of a full effect coming off the skin here, much richer and, and deeper, more depth to it. I know it says uh, a heart full of rose, and maybe as it dries down, you get more of that. But here in the opening, not too much. No, I don't get any florals here. I know it's been compared to Paco Rabanne's One Million. Um, doesn't smell exactly like that, no. But it's kind of in that in that style, but not as clubbing. It's a little bit more high end, a little more dressed up. You know, not quite as some people would say obnoxiously sweet. Not that this is devoid of sweetness, but it is. Uh, a richer style of fragrance than One Million is. Really nice, very pleasant. Next, I gotta open this one because I'm curious. This box looks cool. It's bigger than the other ones and we all know bigger is better. And on the front here, actually the whole box, you know, it's a, a map of the world. I like it, looks cool. Australia is New Holland, what? So this bottle is a little smaller, uh, 60 mil size it says. Here we got the box, it says Blend Oud, Oud Reserve. On the back, you got a sticker with your ingredients and your batch code. Let's open it up. Oh, my bottle has flopped around inside here. It just sits inside right there. 
So here is the bottle. It's uh, the same style as some of the bottles that I had in the previous video. Only in the previous video, it was black through here and this one is ambery colored. So Eclipse, I'm just gonna spray it on skin, you know, skip the tester strip this time. And it is interesting, the atomizers are different. So the atomizer on this style of bottle is a little bit different than this style. And I prefer this atomizer more. It's a little bit smoother. Woo, that's strong, but it smells nice. It has like um, a bit of, a little bit of an astringency when you first smell it. And it's this citrus combination, like the citrus combination off the top. It's not, not sweet, but it does have like a, a sharpness to it. Maybe that's a better way. This is really good. I would say of all the fragrances I've smelled from this house so far, this is the best. This is going to be more off-putting to some people than a lot of the other fragrances though. This is more like a floral forward, ambery oud. The oud though is more of like a, mm, how to describe it? Like a polished wood, like a polished oud in a way. Like it's a very smooth oud, just using my imagination almost, but as if you could imagine a piece of oud and it's been polished up like you would polish a gemstone, like that kind. It's got an interesting after smell. So as it kind of leaves your nose, like leaves your palate almost, you can pick up this lingering little bit of woodiness. It's not overly dark though. It's it's not at all. So it's not a, an oud note that's really you know, heavily spiced or smoky or dirty or animalic or fecal or any of the other common descriptors used for oud that make it sound very potentially off-putting. It doesn't have any of that. It's powdery. It's a bit powdery, like an irisy sort of powder mixing with rose and ylang ylang, ambergris, a little sweet spice. I know this is drawn comparisons to Raja Parfum Amber Aoud, which I own. It's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a little bit like that. It does its own thing. This does its own thing, but it's, um, you know, it's kind of in that in that style, I would say. Like cousins, cousins maybe, <laughs> something like that, the fragrant cousins. I like this, this is really nice. It has got a punch to it though. This is, this is coming off strong off my hand and it's leaving, um, it's leaving a Charlie Sheen to my hand, a Martin Sheen, where, you know, you spray the fragrance on and it just basically sits over top your fragrance like an oil. It's just coating your skin where you spray it. I don't know if you can see that at all. It's shiny where I, where I sprayed it. That is strong and I love it. This is good. This is, this is the best. This is the best so far. But you have to enjoy floral, sweet oud fragrances with a nice dose of powder. You, if you dig scents that are in that zone, check this out, but do be aware it is gonna project like a monster. And last up, cool. Cool, I guess. Now with this one, the expectation is that it's probably gonna be feminine leaning. I could be incorrect there, but I'm just guessing by the, the white box here that it's gonna be more feminine uh, floral potentially. On the back, it says an amazingly bright and cheerful fragrance created for women and men. So maybe not actually. An aroma captivated by its spontaneous, colorful character, inhaling it so easy to imagine summer fruit groves. Like a little Englishy. Wide emerald fields and high blue sky overhead. A harmonious composition, not heavy, modern. It beautifully blends notes of amber and ripe juicy fruit, refreshing bright citrus and summer grasses. It is best suited for such a flavor and formal moments. Okay. It is best suited for such a flavor and formal moments. Let's open it up. So there it is. Same bottle style as uh, the other ones. This one is clear. And I'll spray this directly onto skin. So here we go. Nice atomizer. So I know they said for women and men, but this definitely leans feminine for sure. You could say unisex leaning feminine, but uh, definite feminine lean. <laughs> it's got like a, I'm not sure how to, how to describe it. It's like a powdery vanilla fruity milkshake kind of thing going on. Yeah, yeah, very powdery, very sweet, very fruity, peach and citrus. But then that vanilla undertone, like a slight resinous vanilla undertone, adding additional powder gives it this gourmand edge to it. I know 
uh, by looking this up now that it's been compared to Herba Pura and I don't like that fragrance. I would say that this is sort of, sort of there, but it has a, a different kind of edge to it. So I would say it's maybe not as smooth as Herba Pura is. Surprisingly, I don't completely hate it. I'd say I like it tentatively, but would never wear it. So those are some quick first impressions on these. This one, Eclipse, I think I might wear this one a little bit more. Maybe do a full review on this one. Kind of see how it changes as it evolves. That's the strongest one of the bunch and the most interesting to me so far. Now let's do the giveaway for Teeb. So in order to be entered in the giveaway, you have to like this video, be subscribed to this channel, leave a comment below, and I guess just tell me if you've ever smelled anything blend dude or not, you know, whether a sample, full bottle, whatever. That's all you gotta do. And I need to tell you guys, uh, be aware, there will probably be scammers who are gonna reply to your comments and say, hey, you won a giveaway. Don't pay attention to those people. I will not comment below and say that you want anything. I'll post it up on the community tab. So be aware of that. Don't get duped. They'll ask you for money. Don't give them anything. Don't do it. But about a couple weeks after this video goes live, pick a winner with random comment picker. I'll post it up on the community tab. If you win, hit me up. I'll ship it out to you. And yeah, that's it. So there we go. A few more from Blend Dude and a little giveaway for you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. Again, Max Aroma code is gents. 10. Stay safe out there. I'll see you again another day with another video. See you guys later.